Hi, my name is David Isaacson, founder of Merlin's Magical Mystery School and Healing Temple on the web at spiritportal.org. Uh, within this video, uh, I'm going to be bringing us into a space uh, on another dimensional reality uh, where there is uh, the, I would say, the Book of Life, place where Everyone um, has their stories written out, the stories of their life, uh, the contracts that they need to fulfill, uh, whatever contracts, God contracts, karma contracts, um, demonic contracts, if that's the case. Um, and um, so this is like the blueprint of one's life. And it's essentially, there is, I believe, a, a book, though it might look, appear like a book, um, it might be something else entirely, but that's how we can interpret it, uh, coming from a place of limited uh, concepts <clears throat> and visual understanding, visual uh, cognitive understanding. So within that, this um, book, for lack of a better word, uh, is again the your story, what you uh, will be doing, uh, the the general overall themes that you will be working out, the things that you will be doing, where you're going, who you're with. We will be meeting, um, partnership, marriage. Um, this is a general and specific in, in certain ways. It doesn't have everything, um, but there is a lot there. <coughs> and we are there now. If you can open yourself up to being present with this energy and consciousness, there is a a being, uh, a consciousness that overlooks this book, and you may uh, peruse it for um, for information about your own life. These are uh, things that you've agreed upon uh, while in Bardo, while in spirit, before you came into this life. Um, these cannot be, I do not feel, for most people, these cannot be changed. But they must be fulfilled and completed. for you to be uh, free to move on to the next. Unfolding uh, the next uh, story, the next chapter. Uh, as one, one can accelerate this story, this, um, these plans, these programs, You've probably heard people say that they've lived a number of lifetimes in one life. Um, this is the people who've put themselves on an accelerated track uh, to um, achieve more in one life, achieve many, um, many chapters, uh, so to speak, many chapters. If you consider one chapter or one life, these are the people who've decided to um, play out many chapters in the book in one lifetime uh, to work out as much karma 
as much um, and as many contracts as they can within the shortest period of time. Because um, if one takes takes one's time and goes about this in a leisurely fashion, one may spend uh, many many lifetimes uh, upon this earth and. Uh, for the soul <clears throat> who enjoys its freedom and to dwell in the light and love of spirit, having to come back, incarnate back onto this earthly plane can be very painful. Uh, going back into contraction, into density. Um, so it behooves the soul uh, to work through as much of this as it can in one lifetime and um, ideally at some point to work through it all so that you can um, dwell permanently um, within the spirit realms. Uh, because it is, it is true that um, to some extent um, the expression um, Earth is a prison planet, um, prison being a place of limitation and containment. That can be very, very painful to the soul who knows no bounds and can go wherever it wants and feels love and peace and freedom and knowledge at one's fingertips, at one's um, mere thinking of it. So in a way, it's, it's insanity to want uh, to want to come back into uh, human existence, but many people do. Um, for uh, as we looking through the book, for um, working out karma, working out certain lessons that can be only learned in density, in limitation, uh, living certain, uh, the soul sometimes needs to experience what it is to be in limitation in order to com be, have compassion for for other souls in, in who are incarnated. Um, but there is uh, an understanding, a deeper understanding about what that, what that entails. Uh, many soul, many souls have gone into limitation, into incarnation, not from love for themselves, but to be of service uh, to others, out of love, out of selflessness. Oftentimes, because um, the soul, a soulmate or soulmates, have uh, fallen into density and gotten lost, and those souls in spirit, out of love, in order. Uh, with the intention of um, to come into into incarnation in order to free up to free those um, the souls and so that they may return back into the oneness. These are um, according to Buddhism. These are called the bodhisattvas. Though I do find a lot of um, angelic beings who have incarnated <clears throat> in order to to bring down onto this earthly plane certain um, uh, vibrations and light that is um, that is needed here, kind of like um, a lighthouse uh, to to be to act as way showers for souls lost in the darkness that. Um, that they at least have the light uh, around them within certain angelic beings that remind them of home. That um, kind of like touchstones um, that remind them of home, of 
where they come from, where they are destined to return to. So the work that <clears throat> the work uh, that I do is uh, multifold, multi, um, multifold, multi-purposeful, multi. Uh, okay, there's I'm, low, I'm missing the word here. Uh, multifaceted. Anyway, so the work I do is to help those souls who are working through their karma, are working through their limitations, are working through their contracts, um, oaths, vows, promises, uh, their stories, to help them uh, expedite all of that within uh, the, the quickest way possible with the greatest ease and grace. Um, oftentimes a lot of people say that they want to heal themselves, they want to do it themselves. Well, you can do that, um, but um, doing this one, on oneself, on one's own, does take longer period of time. And when you have the help of spirit, these things go much quicker. The energy is accelerated. Um, more beings in spirit come in to assist and expedite um, things that that normally you be doing by themselves would take much longer time. Um, oftentimes, beings, beings in spirit have more expertise, and um, by hiring them, so to speak, commissioning them, and um, uh, engaging them in, in your process. Um, achieve your your stated goals much quicker and it's the same thing on the earth on planet earth uh, you may have uh, ability to do everything um, if you're lucky um, but there are some people who, who are able to do it with more accuracy and quicker <clears throat> and uh, so if something you would normally take weeks months or years to do, they can do in, in an hour or two because they've been, they've mastered how to do it. Um, they know the ins and outs and this is where the healer comes in. Um, I'll use the analog this analogy well. Um, another one uh, where there's, for instance, if you, uh, no one can can operate on their own brain, so you have to hire a brain surgeon if if you need a brain surgeon to come in and work on you. Where you you just can't do that by yourself. There's certain things that you just not, cannot do on your own self. Uh, you cannot massage your back, so you have to hire somebody. It's the same thing in spirit in the spirit world realm. You know, it's very hard to work on your shadow if your shadow stuff is behind you. It's hard to reach back there and get it. So you need somebody who is uh, objective, who can could see that and work behind there and point that out and work with the energy, work with whatever that is. Um, because these, these are just things that you just cannot do by yourself. So I know that uh, many people in the spirit circle say, well, you know, teach me how to do this by on myself so I can do it by myself. Um, I mean, in theory, that's really great. And there's a lot that you can do by yourself. Um, but again, sometimes it just takes longer to do it by yourself. And to be honest, very little gets done by oneself. Usually, um, you are engaging beings, invisible beings in spirit, to assist you anyway. 
So even though you say, I'm doing this by myself, really you're not. Um, it's your spirit helpers have come in and they're doing the work. <laughs> And also, um, quite frankly, the individual soul, have, most individual souls have only a limited perspective on the whole picture um, of, they can only see so much on one level or another, and they don't see the big picture of how that fits in with everything else. <clears throat> and there are other souls, um, who, because they're not engaged, they're not wrapped up in your story, um, they're able to think outside of the box and be able to see you on all these different levels and how this fits into that, fits into this, fits into that, and um, how to unfold that um, much faster and quicker and easier than if you were just working on this individual little part here. Um, which most people do. They just find one little place and they're working here. Whereas somebody who is in, is able to see the bigger picture can see, okay, this is this here is causing this, and this up there is causing that. And um, finding the uh, source point affecting that change up there that creates a cascade effect that affects this down here and allowing this to shift very quickly and easily. Um, so that's what I do. Anyway, so here we are. Looking at your story, looking at the script of your life, So the invitation is open here for you to ask uh, for help. Um, help is available. That is why you are here uh, listening to this, watching this video. Um, and we are here. We can help you move through this much, your stuff, your stuff, your story much quicker. So maybe you are getting a sense of a happy ending, maybe a not so happy ending, maybe a really hard life, maybe an easy life. What do you want? What are you willing to do for it? What are you willing to give for it? Do you want to just coast through life? Do you want to coast through life? With the understanding that perhaps mm, taking it easy, resting on your laurels, so to speak, and that you will have to come back and work on the really nitty-gritty difficult issues that you've left for some time in the future. 
this is what most people seem to want. Um, immediate satisfaction at the expense of a very long term uh, payoff. The, the payoff here is, <clears throat> you know, you want an easy life or, and come back when, uh, come back another time to work through stuff? Or do you want to really work through your stuff and kind of get to a place of freedom uh, that when you get to the other side, you will say, pat yourself in the back, say, job well done. You really did a lot of work. We're really proud of you. Um, you can stay here for, you can stay here for a longer period of time and enjoy yourself. For most people, it's, you know, they, they get, get up to, to this place in spirit. They're shown the book um, of things that are left undone, unaccomplished, and they're pointed out. See, these are the things that you have, uh, lessons you need to learn, things you need to resolve, contracts you need to expedite, um, people you need to help. You know, they need to, um, and you need to go back to life. The thing about in the now, uh, living the now, is that we have, that you are here now, and you are presented with this great opportunity to do some really amazing work. Um, there's some really wonderful healing opportunities on the planet right now. And one never knows um, if they will be available in the next lifetime, um, if you will, if you will be, uh, have the resources uh, to afford them, if you will be um, located near um, those beings who can uh, present these uh, healing opportunities, or if you will be, um, <clears throat> Often, uh, even taken to another planet that is um, um, even um, denser, harder, not just planet, or another lifetime, another life um, that is less, um, that they don't have internet. <laughs> um, they don't have these kind of opportunities. Uh, maybe uh, in a third world country where you're living in poverty, where there's disease rampant, wars. Illness. <clears throat> so that you're watching this video <clears throat> means that you have um, You are very privileged. Uh, you have uh, a lot of opportunities presented to you, um, but potential possibilities to really grow right now in this lifetime. Um, and this work is here um, that can really change. Um, this is not just coming from me, but. Um, this is, there's a great opportunity here presented to you that you can really work through your, through this book, this script, <clears throat> and really knock out some really heavy duty stuff, um, clear your slate. You can really, really clear your slate clean. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I want to say. Here. This is kind of what I've done for the past uh, literally 20 years, daily <clears throat> working through my stuff, uh, um, working with many, many healers, um, day to day, one thing after another, very diligently. And so now I can present that um, 
the fruit of my work, um, the things I've learned, the things I've connected to, and uh, expanded out into that I can now present to you. Um, so what has taken me 20 years, if not more, um, uh, I can assist you in moving through much quicker, much, much quicker and easier. Okay, anything else? We said everything we need to say. Okay, anything else? I'm asking my sources and spirit and the spirit. Is there anything else that we need to share with you? Okay, um, what else? There's something. Okay, uh, <clears throat> the window of opportunity, there's a real, um, this is a really uh, special point in time um, where there's there's a split, there's a, a split in direction on the planet. Um, there are a great many beings who have refused to do their work, uh, who've chosen to go on a um, the lower path, go on the easy path, um, and um, who've just kind of given up, who want to just take out of life what they can. Um, I mean, you know, these people, kind of the black holes, uh, they want to take, 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 and they're not wanting to give, and they want to just uh, experience whatever they can experience and um, not not grow within themselves, not change, not take personal responsibility, um, not have an internal life, not have self-reflection, uh, not correct themselves, that they re refuse to look at themselves and are always projecting onto others, which we know is, uh, as an example, somebody who is president of a country we, we, we all know and love. Uh, and then there are others who have really um, taken up the mantle, who've, um, who've really taken on their personal responsibility for their life and have really chosen to work out their stuff. Um, and you probably know who those, are, those people are, although they're... Um, so <clears throat> their light is expanding and the others they're kind of stuck. They're really stuck. So you have to ask yourselves, uh, you know, if you are stuck, then you have to make, you have to, you, you are presented with a choice. Now, this is the choice you may, you, you, that is presented to you. Mm, do you really take up the mantle of taking the personal responsibility of working at your stuff and really looking at your shadow, uh, really healing, um, and by doing so, changing your future? Or do you want to stay, stay where you are, knowing full well, because this is the message here, that you will have to come back in another lifetime in a situation that's probably much more difficult. Uh, you might not necessarily come back on this planet. There are other planets that souls are, are taken to that are much harder. Um, um, this is, uh, in a sense, in a way, this is a cakewalk. This is very easy here. Um, um, so with this foreknowledge, this is the warning. Um, you know, if you don't do the work, your next life is probably not going to be any easier. It's going to be a lot worse, a lot more difficult. And even to doing spiritual work is going to be harder because the light workers that that you've taken for granted on this planet that are that are presenting their work here to you they they probably won't be uh, available or if they are they'll be more hidden and um, probably not 
be as willing to work with you because you've already <clears throat> refused their help. After give, being given time and time again, opportunity and opportunity, and uh, refused uh, to make the necessary sacrifices and um, have refused to uh, repeatedly said no. So spirit listens, and if you want no, we'll give you no. Um, so um, anything else? Mm. And uh, that would be uh, that would be very sad. But uh, sometimes um, people cannot cannot really learn until they are faced uh, with being uh, knocked about and going as going being cast down of living in poverty illness uh, feeling of being abandoned um, being abused um, I mean you know you see these people um, you think that they have the short end of the stick but when people get what they ask for and if people refuse um, to open up to the universe, to open up to the vastness of the universe and take part in, in growing and learning and healing and releasing, then you are given contraction and density, and which is um, density and contraction is, is really painful. Um, and those people who are in such pain um, they seek out um, distractions, drugs, um, violence, uh, sex, um, overeating, um, whatever instant pleasures um, and gains that they can get in the moment, um, but it's never enough. Um, anyway, Okay, I think I've set it up for now. Very serious conversation. <sighs> We're talking about your life here. Blessings to you.